Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. You know, I don't know if you know this, but Jonah Hill is a savior. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jonah Hill oh my has, has God. changed the face of the United <laughs> States. This is what we're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so no, keep going. I want you to yeah, keep going. Yeah, he he has become a, a icon, I, right? To renew the faith mm. in the Jewish population. Oh my God! So uh, my my racism is cured. Yeah. So I uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Well, I won't go on this long. But I just thought it was really interesting that, that yeah, Kanye said he likes Jewish people now again because he watched 21 Jump Street with Jonah Hill and was like, oh. I shouldn't. I shouldn't put my hatred of one or two people amongst an entire race of people. Literally, what every racist who reforms says in their life, like, "Oh, I didn't know black people weren't like X, Y, Z. I didn't know like Hispanic people weren't like X, Y, Z. Once I once I got to know them, there, I'm like, bro. <laughs> like, so he just hated two Jewish people, and he decided to go out like talking all that ish about Jews. <sighs> What what can you even say about Kanye West, man? I mean, I think that's about it. I think what can you say? I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna put this delicately because I, you know, I don't know him. Obviously, he's far more successful than I am. Um, frankly, I feel like my lyrics is more fire. But oh, you know, well, yeah, I, I got some fire lyrics. Hey yo, I just didn't. I didn't have a drive when I was young. He never said Black Randy Savage. <laughs> <laughs> he never did. He never did. He never did. Um, I think that he was going for like a, a redemption arc, like a bad boy, then like redemption, and oh, you know, like he had this whole like big like I'm yeah. gonna like uh, ostracize myself, yeah, get sent down, get yeah. cut down to size, and then I'm gonna have a rebirth, yeah, like Robert Downey Jr., yeah, he's like druggy in the '80s. Now he's Iron Man, yeah. But no one cares. No. And everyone's like, you went too far. Yeah. And they're like, you're crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And, if, and you know, it's like part of me feels a little bad for him because he has no. some, he has some no. issues. No. No. Like, he has some issues. Yeah. Like, and sometimes people with those issues, when they're untreated, even if you aren't treating them yourself, you aren't really in control of what you're doing. Uh, but that doesn't excuse what he did. No. So no, no. Uh, at that same time, and, and the fact is, is that look, hey, yo, you can call it punching up, man. But if, if you've proven yourself to be able to be self sufficient and successful in life, then you have to meet a certain criteria. Oh, absolutely. And that means is that you gotta be a normal person, and you can't just go around being hateful. That's that's not gonna get I too agree. far. It, well, it's the same thing, like like the mental issues thing. Like it'd be like someone who has anger issues being like, "I'm sorry, I punched you. I have anger issues." I mean, no, <laughs> you're a human. Go get that shit addressed, or you're gonna suffer consequences if you freak out and attack somebody. I was gonna say you're talking about like ninety percent of politicians, but uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So, but yeah, I'm just like for real, man. If you're if you're to a point where you're successful or you're functioning, even that successful, he was like. He was he was very very successful. Yeah, but I mean, even somebody like me or you, we are expected to behave in a certain way to be a part of society. Yeah, and There's some general standards. I not was, being a bigot is it, one of them. Exactly, and I would say that the way he has been behaving is maladaptive to acting like a human that will be accepted by society. Yeah. So. You know what? Hey, you know yeah. that's your decision. But I, the Jewish, uh, what was I? I don't want to say the Jewish church, but uh, mothership. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know how they feel about that. I mean, we all have motherships, yeah, right? We like, do all have motherships, yeah, so. but I don't know how they feel. But yes, the Jewish mothership did issue a uh, a statement that they did not accept his public <laughs> apology. Either. Yeah, yeah. You talk about the person that wiped out millions of our people, like you love him, and then yeah. be like, "Sorry, dog." And yeah. they're like, "No, no, 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 no. That doesn't yeah. doesn't fly with us." And that that is facts. They they actually did issue that statement. Now, I've oh, never, I did see that. Yeah, yeah. Now, now I've never seen Twenty One Drum Street. I was about to bring that up. But uh, have you? Have you? Seen I ha it? I will tell you that when it came out, I was like, "This looks like the worst piece of ass I've ever seen." And then seen it turned out life. being good. Everybody told me I, that. But and then I never one day, I think it. I was sick. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to put this on. I was blown away. Like, it is actually, like, and even 22 Jump Street I is know. decent. 
I know. <laughs> 21 Jump Street. I would cuz I think Channing Tatum is just stupid yeah, and like of course. And Jonah Hill, like he's had some good movies in like the t- early 2000s. Channing Tatum lost it with all the his male audience when he started gyrating for our for our girls, man. But you know what? You can't be doing that and think we're going to be cool with you. Yeah. You can play a superhero and put your shirt take your shirt off, but you start gyrating, start jumping around. Start chipping all over yeah. the place. Yeah. I can't even watch you. But I I will say that I was I was blown away. I was like, that was a funny movie. Like it was it, was, it was just it's right. goofy dumb cop, but like I don't know what it was about it. It just it it was pretty good. It made me laugh. And I was like, I was very surprised. God damn it, man. I might have to watch 21 Jump Street. Man. I will tell you this. I would probably watch it with you because it, I hadn't seen it in like five or ten years probably. And it was pretty funny. But yeah. now it might be really bad because maybe. But no, I was like, I remember walking away going, oh, okay. Yeah, well, and you said you've heard that from other people? Yeah, I mean, everybody's told me that. Everybody who's seen the movie told me that. It looks like crap, but it's really good. And Jonah Hill is a national treasure to be protected at all times. Yeah, I do really like Jonah Hill. Yeah, He's even done The Breakfast Club a couple times. Has he? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I uh, Shout out to my New York stations. Yeah. <laughs> what up? <laughs> Did you used to listen to that on the radio when you lived in New York? And that's how you mm-hmm. like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's kind of like how I still listen to the radio show from Cleveland. Because I, I listened to it for so long that like... Mo- Freaking Tom in the Morning, Morning Glory? No, uh, Rover's Morning Glory. Yeah. Rover's Morning Glory. That's what yeah, it was. Yeah. I don't remember. I used to listen to that a lot when it first came out. Then I switched over to the Afternoon Guy for a while because I was driving home when that was on. And then... Yeah, I still listen to it sometimes. It's just interesting that like when someone's... You've been listening to somebody on the radio for like 20 years. Mm-hmm. Like this, it's just It's just weird. Because they'll be talking about stuff, and I'm like, I remember that <laughs> like, <laughs> from all those years ago. It's, it, it's, it's pretty messed up. Hmm. So I, I, didn't, I guess I never realized how you found The Breakfast Club. So you used to just like live in – when you lived in New York, you would – Yeah, look- it would come on the radio, and uh, I used to listen to the radio a little bit. And then, uh, you know, YouTube, obviously. <laughs> Once well, you yeah, discover I YouTube, you can just do listen everything. listen to the radio back in the day because it was uh, before um, – before, like, you could hook your phone up to your car or before Spotify or, you know, or things like that. So it, uh, you're able to, you know, that's how you listen to stuff or listen to the radio. I used to, yeah, I used to listen to, I, I love, I mean, uh, to be completely real, the, the reason we're doing this today is because I listen to so much talk radio. Really? Yeah. So like, you've been listening to podcasts for a long time, but you don't, you don't listen to podcasts IRL. No. No, but talk radio is okay. Yeah, I mean, literally, well, and, literally. The well, and here, and here, and I think here's the difference for me is I don't like. There's a, and I will, I will say this even including ours. There's a yeah. lot of trash podcasts out there. There are, and like, and the problem is finding podcasts that fit what you want to listen to. Yeah, and I and I and I can totally relate with not wanting to jump on the bandwagon of one of the larger podcasts, but honestly, a lot of them are pretty good. Hardcore history, excellent. I watch Flagrant Two, really good. I watch Brilliant Idiots. It's it's pretty good too. I I uh, Two Bears One Cave with Bert Kreischer. I watched that one. Yeah, I listen but- to. Uh, there's some really good ones out there, and uh, you know, Iron Sharpens Iron. So if I yeah. want to become a better podcaster myself, I got to well, listen to some of the well, greats. Let's say you want to be better at improv, go watch improv shows. You want to exactly. be better at stand up, go watch stand up. Exactly. You want to be better at in- podcast, listen to podcast. But I don't think you have to. To do to be you better. No, not, not no. You absolutely don't. No, because don't. it's it's because and, and the reason I think this is the format we follow here is it's this is more like talk radio podcast because I like bring up a story, talk about it, tangent in the conversation. It's I feel like it's more like for me going and listening to something where they just talk about one subject the whole episode isn't as entertaining to me. Like I don't want to sit there and listen to you talk about like something for an one thing for an hour. I wouldn't necessarily say is that that is what it is necessarily i mean <laughs> essentially we i mean we, we generally talk about one topic and then we go wherever the hell we go i would say a lot of podcasts they they do a, a similar kind of like tangenting off of stuff i don't know if you don't really like the idea of a podcast then i wouldn't say they're for you but uh i don't know you might no, want to I mean, give like, some of them a try and i hate being that guy's like i do a podcast i don't listen to podcasts yeah it's i mean but you know it's cool i've it, listened I mean, i've definitely listened to some joe rogan too i do not f with rogan though any longer yeah i mean uh yeah, I, I, mean, I don't know i listen to a lot of personalities on the internet like I, I do twitch i do youtube i do podcasts 
Yeah, and I mean but, that's like yeah, that's your that's your sole source of like entertainment. You it, don't watch it, TV really. It, it, quiet, or... it quiets the voices in my head. I mean, I feel you. Yeah, yeah. it's the only reason you stay alive at night. I mean, that's why I lock my door when I sleep. <laughs> he does too. I know you do for yeah. real. I mean, what if somebody broke in and we got me while I was sleeping? <laughs> How am I gonna save you? Well, why do I? If my door's locked. What, uh, what if somebody like breaks it through your window and they're killing you or something? I would think that that would be. I would. That'd be my. That's it. <laughs> they gotta break my window, climb over my desk. You really think I'm gonna kill you one of these days? That is oh, insane. Yeah, yeah that, I mean, that's what? why I started. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I've always locked. I have always locked my bedroom door. Okay. When I, I slept. Mean, I mean, sure. Even I don't know why. I don't know, man. I like to tempt fate. I mean, <laughs> sometimes I like to just sleep in the middle of the road. <laughs> Some of us like to watch the world burn, you know? <laughs> all right. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Yep.